Stephen Seven was an individual who had the misfortune to be driving through New Mexico, uh, uh, allegedly drunk, and was picked up for a DWI, um, driving uh, allegedly a stolen vehicle. Uh, he was placed into solitary confinement pretty soon into his stay and his condition deteriorated very rapidly. After two years in custody, his charges were dismissed. Because of the, the state of his mental health that the facility put him in, he wasn't able to actually go forward on the charges. His family members, his friends, talked about him being a very outward going individual who liked to go bowling, go to football games, uh, play with kids. You know, the guy at the party who everyone likes, it sort of carved out of him a piece of his soul, almost, what they did to him, as torture tends to do. But you, you know it when, it when you meet him and you see the, the problems he endures. He's a, it's a very severe form of post-traumatic stress disorder. He was a, an incredible person to go through what he went through and to proceed with the case in the way he did. It was never really about money for him. It was very much about making a point, addressing a wrong, and um, as he often said, stopping it from happening to somebody else. The jail cell that we built in the courtroom, it was a simple sort of thing. It wasn't the most professionally built thing, but it, it did uh, demonstrate the space involved. And it was there the whole time in the trial, so when we were talking with witnesses, we could relate to the size of the cell by pointing to it. The defendant, the jail director, we got him to admit that he wouldn't leave his dog in a, in a cell that size for the length of time that he let Mr. Slevin stay there. And, uh, and without that jail cell, it might not have been as easy to get that sort of admission out of him. There were two things that I think really happened as a result of Stephen's case. One was that it created a dialogue that not just in New Mexico, but around the country, even in other countries as well, about solitary confinement. But I think because the verdict was, was so large, it also created uh, incentive or fear in institutions that they need to start paying more attention to how they are treating individuals. There has been local impact um, here in New Mexico and hopefully the debate in, in the country has been helped along a little bit by uh, the publicity that Mr. Slevin's case generated.